I'm sharing three creative tricks that will take your edits to the next level. Trick number one, 3D screen effect. First, open DaVinci Resolve. As you can see, I have a screen recording clip on my timeline, and we're going to turn it into a 3D looking video. Select your clip, then right click and choose new fusion clip. Now go to the fusion panel. Here we have two nodes, media in and media out. Select the media in node. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus Spacebar, and search for DVE. Add it, and you'll see the DVE node appear between media in and media out. Now, select the DVE node and look to the inspector on the right. Here you'll find the rotation and position controls for X, Y, and Z. You can use these to adjust the angle and perspective of your video. Let's start by adjusting the Y rotation to give our video a slight left to right curve. Just enough to make it feel dynamic. Next, adjust the Z position to scale the video, zooming it in a bit. Then use center X to perfectly align it in the middle, and center Y to move it slightly up or down if needed. Now place your playhead at the start, and add keyframes to center X and center Y. Move the playhead to the end of the clip, and adjust center Y to move the video slightly from top to bottom, creating a subtle motion. Open the spline editor and check DVE. Click fit to zoom, select both keyframes and hit S to smooth them out. Or even better, enable set relative for a clean motion curve. Now close the spline editor, go back to the edit timeline, play it. See that? A smooth and creative 3D screen effect is ready. Trick number two. Wave delay text animation. First, go to the effects panel and search for text plus, then drag it onto your timeline. Now select the text layer and open the fusion panel. As always, you'll see two nodes here, media in and media out. On the right side under the inspector, go to the text box and type your text. I'll type my channel name, Visual Nova, but you can type anything you want. Next, change the font. I'm using Impact for this example. Now, right-click on the text box and choose Follower. Then, open the Modifiers tab and go to the Text section. Here you'll see the size parameter, we'll animate this to create our effect. Place your playhead at the start, turn on keyframing for size, and set its value to zero. Then move the playhead a little forward and increase the size to your desired amount. I think this looks good. Play it and you'll see a simple pop-up text animation. Now let's make it more interesting. Go to timing and increase the delay value. I'll set mine to around 1.5. Play it again and you'll notice a smooth delay animation between each letter. Looks really cool. You can also change the order here, like right to left, random or one by one. This adds a magical variation to your animation. Next, go to the Character Range section. Here you'll find more options to randomize or customize how each letter animates. Now move down to the Shading tab and scroll to the Position Controls. We'll animate the Offset Y value to add a wave-like motion to our text. Set the playhead where you want the animation to end, and keyframe Offset X and Y position. Then move the playhead back to the start, enable Follower 1, and decrease the Y position to make the text drop slightly. Now play it, see that? The text appears in a wavy, delayed style, looks really dynamic and smooth. Finally, go back to timing and slightly increase the delay value to enhance the wave effect. Now return to the edit timeline, play it, and your wave delay text animation is ready. Trick number 3, 3D Rays Animation. First, right-click inside the media pool and select New Fusion Composition. Rename it to 3D Rays and drag it onto your timeline. Select the clip and go to the fusion panel. You'll see only one node, the media out node. Now press Ctrl plus Shift plus Spacebar, search for text 3D and add it. Next, select the text 3D node, press Ctrl plus Shift plus Spacebar again, and search for renderer 3D. Add it, and connect text 3D to renderer 3D, and renderer 3D to media out just like this. To focus better, turn off the right viewer window. Now select the text 3D node. On the right side, under the inspector, type your text. I'll write my channel name Visual Nova, but you can use any text you like. Choose a font, I'll go with Impact, and decrease the text size slightly. Now open the Layout tab and adjust the center Y position to bring your text into the middle of the frame. Go to the Shading tab and uncheck Use One Material. Pick a color, I'll choose Black, and then reduce Alpha to Zero. You'll notice that the text disappears from the viewer. Now go back to the text tab and scroll down to enable extrusion. 
set bevel depth to 0.0001, then slightly increase bevel width while observing your text. You'll see it turn into a smooth outline shape. Next, select the Renderer 3D node, press Ctrl plus Shift plus Spacebar, and search for Light Rays, add it. Now select the Text 3D node again go to Shading, and pick a color you like. There are many options here but I'll go with Red, then hit OK. Now place the playhead at the very beginning, go to the Transform tab, and add a keyframe on Rotation Y. Next, move the playhead all the way to the end, and rotate the text from right to left to create smooth motion. Then go to the Layout tab and slightly adjust the center X value to bring the text perfectly into frame. Finally, return to the Transform tab to continue refining the animation. Now let's animate the rays. Select the Light Rays node, go to the right side under Appearance and slightly increase the length. Add a bit of softness and adjust the brightness as needed. You can also use X and Y to set the direction of the rays. Move the playhead to the start again and add keyframes on ray direction X and Y. Then go to the end of the clip, and animate Y direction. This makes the light rays spread dynamically around your text. Now play it back, and you'll see a cool 3D rays animation. Where glowing rays smoothly rotate and spread from your 3D text. A perfect effect to end your fusion trick series. And that's it for today's tutorial. You've just learned how to create three professional fusion effects. All inside DaVinci Resolve. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Visual Nova for more fusion tricks and creative editing tutorials every week. Drop your thoughts or questions in the comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback. See you in the next part, until then keep creating amazing visuals.